Great products, low prices, helpful service. That's Harris Ace Hardware. Harris Ace is your place for Yeti coolers, Traeger grills, Costa Demar sunglasses, Calcutta Renegade coolers, plus Harris Ace is your hometown dealer for yellow wood treated lumber. Harris Ace will not be undersold on price, so you know you're getting the best price at Harris Ace. Your favorite place for hardware and lumber supplies is Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. Time now for the latest in local sports and sports. The Braves take two out of three in Philadelphia. Now head to Washington to take on the Nationals. who are in second place, five and a half games behind the Braves. Braves lost Sunday 9-4. Game time tonight, 7.05. All the action here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Trade deadlines this Wednesday. So far, no action by the Braves, but they could still make a move or two before Wednesday's deadline. Mets acquired Blue Jays pitcher Marcus Stroman on Sunday in exchange for some prospects. Mets six games out on a wild card spot. They helped their rotation. And the Braves, two in first place, head to play the Nationals in a three-game set beginning tonight. Game time tonight, 7.05. Braves, the Braves come home Thursday, August 1st, when Cincinnati comes to time. Midnight Man is set for Wednesday night at the high school J.C. Stadium as the high school football season right around the corner. I'm screaming at John Hilton Head just 18 days from today. Everyone invited to come on out this Wednesday night. When the clock strikes 12, the team will hit the field with full pad practice. Still a few weeks away from the first touchdown club meeting. That's set for Monday, August 26th at 7 p.m. at the Western Sicilian Steakhouse. Membership $130. That includes all the meals. Once again, the first meeting for the Touchdown Club, Monday night, August 26th at the Western Sicilian Steakhouse. We've got NFL football this Thursday night as the Falcons will be in the Hall of Fame game against the Denver Broncos. All the training camps are underway in the NFL. NFL football season approaches. Again, we'll have that game Thursday night on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Falcons taking on the Denver Broncos. Mercy Girls softball team begins their season this weekend down in Brunswick, Georgia, in a tournament in Glenn County, August 2nd and 3rd. First home game a week from today, Monday, August 5th, hosting the Brunswick High School Pirates. We'll have that game for you here on Monday on Big Dog Country FM 105.5. Volleyball team opens up August 8th at home against Vidalia Cross Country team Saturday, August 17th in Perry, Georgia. Recreation Department still having sign-ups for soccer, football, and cheerleading, and the cost is $30 per participant. Monday through Friday at the Rec Department, located at 244 Peachtree Street. Once again, sign your child up today. Football, cheerleading, and soccer, ages 4 to 12 for football and cheerleading, 4 to 17 for soccer. Also, don't forget this weekend is the Pine Force Country Club's OA Hunter Golf Tournament, set for this Saturday, 8.30 a.m. Still time to sign up. Again, it's a two-person event, best ball, scramble, alternating shot, 27-hole, one-day event, Saturday, August 3rd at the Pine Force Country Club. Cost is 220 110 per golfer and includes mulligans and close ups. Also includes lunch. And everyone's invited. Again, if you need to sign your team up, call the pro shop today at 427 6505. Mail checks to the Pine Force Country Club, P.O. Box 70, Jessup, Georgia 31598. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. Sports is brought to you each and every day at this time by friends at Harris Ace Hardware. This is Charles Huffman at Jessup Housing Outlet. If you haven't been to Jessup Housing Outlet lately, you're missing out on a large selection of new and exciting floor plans from the nation's top manufacturers like Clayton, Fleetwood, Scottbilt, and Homes of Merit. All of our homes feature modern kitchens and appliances, R60 and higher installation values, thermal pane windows, and energy-efficient heat pumps. We have two locations to serve you, 2452 Savannah Highway in Jessup and Highway 301 South between I-16 and the Bypass in Statesboro. Come see Charles, Bay, or Sheridan today. For all your medical needs, Tim's Home Medical on South First Street in Jessup has you covered. Oxygen, CPAP equipment, wheelchairs, walkers, hospital beds, plus specialty medical equipment from a local company that cares. Tim's Home Medical can handle Medicare, Medicaid, and private insurance billing, as well as family records for tax purposes. Tim's Home Medical, owned and operated by Tim Sloan, 918 South First Street in Jessup. Tim's Home Medical. Call 385-2490, 385-2490. Nismith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup has some explosive deals all month long here at the home of No Hassle Buying. Hello, I'm Chad Neesmith, and if you want the best prices around, you need to come to Jessup's so you can get the most bang for your buck. Now, through July the 31st, you can receive up to $10,500 off 2019 Silverado Crew Cabs and 2019 Sierra Crews. Now that's savings. Plus, you can receive up to $8,000 off 2019 Chevrolet Tahoes and GMC Yukon. Did I mention we give you more on your trade than any other deal? 
here? That's right. At Neesmith, we're in need of quality trades, and right now we're going all in and giving you more for your trade than ever before. Now is the time to buy, so hurry into Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup to take advantage of the best deals around or visit us online at NeesmithJessup.com. Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC, the original home of no-hassle buying. Chevy, find new roads. Certain restrictions apply. See dealer for details. Good morning, WIFUFM, Big Dog Country, 747, 13 minutes until 8. The All-Star Concert Series at Wild Adventures Theme Park continues Saturday, August 3rd with Air Supply, live in concert. You can see the platinum-selling legendary duo Air Supply perform all their hits, including All Out of Love, Lost in Love, and more. Saturday, August 3rd at Wild Adventures. The show's included with a park admission or season pass. You can stay after the concert for a special Moonlight Madness fireworks display. Find out more at wildadventures.com. Uh, we've got one ticket voucher for four single-day admissions to Wild Adventures to see Air Supply and Moonlight Madness. We'll do that via text this morning at 912-427-3711. No texting and driving. Please pull over. If you want in the past 30 days, please step aside let somebody else have a chance. We will do uh, text number 8. Text your name to 912-427-3711. Eighth text in is the winner to see Wild Adventures. See Air Supply at Wild Adventures. Find out more at wildadventures.com. Text number eight. Good luck from the Big Dog WIFO and Wild Adventures. Saturday, August 3rd, Wild Adventures Theme Park in Valdosta, Georgia presents Air Supply live in concert. Lost in It's the Wild Adventures All-Star Concert Series featuring Air Supply, live in concert on Saturday, August 3rd. The concert is included with your park admission or season pass. Limited reserve seats are still available. Get your tickets and reserve seats for Air Supply, live in concert at wildadventures.com. The birthday and anniversary calendar here on Big Dog Country is aired weekday mornings about 725 right after local news. It's easy to let us know who you know is having a birthday or anniversary. Email us the birthdays and anniversaries at birthdays at bigdogcountry.com. Text them in at 912-427-3711 or call them in weekdays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at 427-3711. Then listen in about 725 weekday mornings to hear the birthdays and anniversaries right here on WIFO 105.5 FM. Congratulations to Tim Manning. Text number 8. Tim Manning was the 8th text in at 912-427-3711. Picks up that four-pack to Wild Adventures. 749. Good morning for the Big Dog WIFO. Let's get a look at your GNN Weather Center forecast. Hi, good morning. Morning sunshine for today. Southwest winds becoming easterly later this afternoon. Highs low 90s. Mostly clear around 70 for tonight. Mostly sunny mid 90s tomorrow. Wednesday sunshine. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms mid 90s. Thursday partly sunny. 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms mid 90s. Friday mostly cloudy. Chance of showers and thunderstorms. Georgia meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. River level steady at 3.8 feet. That is low stage for the river, but it is steady at 3.8 feet. Low tide this afternoon, 1227. High this evening, 637, 7.7 feet. Sunset at 825. Temperatures in the uh, mid-60s right now. 66 double sickles here at the Big Dog. WIFO. 751, world-famous Butcher Bob show just a few minutes away on this back-to-work Monday morning. Well, Bob, what did you catch this time? I don't know. I got a head cold out of that. Well, we're all going to be coughing and sneezing here in about a week. I can tell you that. I got picked up Saturday. Uh oh, that's not good. Not good. Yeah. Braves and Nationals are at it, and uh, they're saying now your Phillies are your, your Pirates are going to be the uh, are going to be sellers at the deadline. They made yeah. many moves they to unload. They need to sell everybody. They just can't. <laughs> they need a whole pitching staff. Need, need to train the entire team for what a pack of bubble gum and, and a baseball that's card. Is that, that is that right? They were two and a half games out. When the All Star game played, now they're ten games out. Well, they lost like seven or eight in a row. Did, did they finally pick up yeah. pick up a win? I think or? they've won two games since the All Star game. Wow, that's pretty sad. sad. Pretty sad. Seven fifty two. Good morning from WIFO. Let's do this. Then we'll get ready for the world famous Butch and Bob show on this Monday morning. Governor Brian Kemp has declared July as Smart Irrigation Month in Georgia. What is irrigation? It's the watering of crops to ensure the growth of our state's leading industry, agriculture. Farmers rely on irrigation for the production of food, fiber, and fuel. Soil monitors and remote control technology allow farmers to be more precise in their crops' irrigation applications, allowing water to be applied timelier and more efficiently. Learn how farmers utilize new irrigation technology at smartirrigationgeorgia.com. There was the explosion. And I remember just opening my eyes, and I got both of my legs. I had surgery after surgery, and I'm, what's going to happen next? The Wounded Warrior Project said, look, brother, everything's going to be okay. Three months from now, four months from now, a year from now, 
you'll be fine. I don't know if I would be as well adjusted as I am now if it wasn't for them. To learn more, call 1-877-832-6997 or visit WoundedWarriorProject.org. The specials just keep on coming for your Jessa Piggly Wiggly. Fresh lean ground chuck, $2.99 a pound. Sirloin pork chops, only 99 cents a pound. Claxton Fresh Chicken Leg Quarters, a low 58 cents a pound. And Center Cut Pork Chops, $1.99 a pound. And Piggly Wiggly Summer Produce Sale continues on your favorite fresh produce. For delicious meals on the go, visit Piggly Wiggly's Deli Bakery. Yes, we are open for you today, tomorrow, and into the future. Piggly Wiggly on West Cherry Street in Jessup. Quicken Loans presents the Sports Flash, driven by Jeep on Big Dog Country 105.5. The Atlanta Braves, they followed the Philadelphia Phillies 9-4 to on Sundays. All of their runs came in the seventh inning. Ender Enciarte hitting a three-run home run. Johan Camargo then added a solo shot. Philadelphia getting a home run from Bryce Harper and a grand slam from JT Realmuto. Kevin Gosman went six innings. He gave up six runs with eight strikeouts falling to three and six. Atlanta still took two of three in the weekend series. NASCAR, Denny Hamlin wins at Pocono, conserving enough fuel to pick up his third win of the season. Holds off teammate Eric Jones and Martin Truex Jr. Kevin Harvick did lead most of the laps, but finished six. Five races remain before the start of the playoffs. PGA Tour Brooks Kepka won the FedEx St. Jude Invitational in Memphis, finishing at 16 under par, winning by three shots over Webb Simpson. Head to your local Jeep dealer today. It's the Jeep Celebration event going on now. I'm Tony Deziri, Big Dog Country 105.5. Hi, I'm Jay Farner, CEO of Quicken Loans, America's largest mortgage lender. Let's talk credit card debt for a minute. If you feel you're carrying too much of it, you're not alone. The average household in the U.S. carries over $8,000 in credit card debt. Ready for some good news? With a cash-out refinance from Quicken Loans, you can quickly and easily put some of the equity in your home to good use by paying off a lot of that high-interest credit card debt. A great way to take cash out is with our 30-year fixed-rate mortgage. The rate today on our 30-year fixed-rate mortgage is 4.125%. APR 4.22%. Call us today at 800-QUICKEN to learn how taking cash out with a 30-year fixed mortgage might be the right solution for you. And for a record nine years in a row, J.D. Power has ranked Quicken Loans highest in the nation in customer satisfaction for primary mortgage origination. Call us today at 800-QUICKEN or go to rocketmortgage.com. For J.D. Power award information, visit jdpower.com. Rate subject to change. Pay 0.88% fee to receive this discounted rate. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. WIFOFM, Big Dog Country at 7.55. Anything we need to know on a Monday morning, Bob, as we're getting ready for start of school? It's getting ready for school, open house a week from today, midnight madness this Wednesday night, so a lot going on this week. That's right. NFL back. If you want to find out what's going on in the NFL, AM 1370, Fox Sports Radio, all sports all the time. Uh, right now, um, Outkick the coverage is on with Clay Travis. They'll be talking about uh, everything because we've got the Hall of Fame game for you Thursday night right here on WIFO. Do you know what time kick is? I believe it's 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. All right, we'll have that for you on WIFO. Falcons and who? Denver Broncos. Denver Broncos. All right. World Famous Butch and Bob Show is up next after a quick update from Fox News Radio. Have a great Monday. See you tomorrow. What could possibly be hotter than the South Georgia summer sun? Only one thing. The red hot clear the lot sell down. Happening now at Woody Folsom Ford. Vaxley. Over 80 brand new 18 model year Fords left. They're selling down at sacrificial prices. So come get you one or two or three new 18 F-150 Mustangs Explorer edges at sacrifice prices. Or choose a new 19 F-150 and nail some 0% financing for 72 months. That's before we talk. And get that free lifetime powertrain warranty. Better get to Baxley and talk to me. Hey, over 450 new F-150s in stock and over 250 Super Duties on the ground. Ain't nothing to it but to come on and get you a Red Hot deal today. Better get to Baxley and the Red Hot Clear the Lot event at Woody Balsam Ford. It's hotter than hot. Fox News. I'm Lillian Wu. They're looking for answers after a gunman opens fire at a food festival in Gilroy, California. People hiding behind tents, scrambling for exits. We heard like 50, at least 50 shots uh, while we were trying to get out of there. 
three victims dead and the gunman. Police are always a heavy presence at this annual event, and they were near the gunman when he opened fire. The chief says officers engaged the gunman in less than a minute and fatally shot him. Law enforcement from multiple agencies are now following up in reports of that second suspect. They're searching with helicopters and canine units, but that person's role is unclear. Fox Claudia Cowan. And the president continuing his feud with one of his most outspoken critics, Democratic Congressman Elijah Cummings. The president tweeting Baltimore under his leadership as the worst crime statistics in the nation. This is Fox News. Fox Nation is the place for exclusive content you can't get anywhere else. New opinion shows from Laura Ingram, Tucker Carlson, and Tommy Lahren you can only get by signing up for Fox Nation. Plus, the real stories behind the headlines. Documentaries on Chappaquiddick, Jimmy Hoffa, and more that you'll only find on Fox Nation. More of the opinion done right you crave? It's on Fox Nation. Documentaries and specials you can't get anywhere else? They're on Fox Nation. So go to foxnation.com today and sign up now for Fox Nation. Opinion done right now. Chris Wallace on Fox News Channel. The animating question for me is always, what's going to happen next? If people sense that you're not pushing an agenda, you're not pulling your punches, they're going to rely on you. It's a commitment to the truth. One of the advantages, I think, of having been in this business so long, you're able to detect what is real, what is important, and what's just political noise. Chris Wallace on Fox News Channel. Real news, real honest opinion. For the best car wash at the best price, then go to the new Nips Car Wash located at 459 Highway 301 South down from McDonald's in Jessup. Nips Car Wash features state-of-the-art IQ automatic car wash system. Every car or truck that enters the automatic IQ wash system is scanned to capture its unique vehicle profile to give you a great car wash every time. Nips Car Wash also features two self-service bays where you can choose from a variety of accessories such as foam brush, tire brush, bug off, wax, clear coat, and spot-free rinse with powerful blowers located in each bay to top off your car wash experience at an affordable price. For the best quality car wash around, go to the new Nips Car Wash located down from McDonald's on the left on Highway 301 South in Jessup. That's Nips Car Wash with a state-of-the-art IQ automatic wash system on Highway 301 South down from McDonald's in Jessup. Since 1946, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full-service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. The following is an exclusive presentation of Jessup Broadcasting, the sports leader in Southeast Georgia. And a happy Monday morning to you. You're listening to The Big Dog at WIFO FM in Jessup, 105.5 FM. Big Dog Country, it is now time for the world famous Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by Nips Car Wash, located on Highway 301 South, just past McDonald's on the left hand side, and by Murphy Builder Supply on Northeast Broad Street. Now, while we got so three sets of guests this morning here on the world famous Butch and Bob Show, well, let's go ahead with our first guests this morning. It's a packed house today, but we got Colleen Murphy on the phone with us as we got several trailers headed to France. Colleen, you with us? Yes, sir. How you doing today? I'm great. How are you? With your uh, twirlers in here in the studios, but tell us about the trip and who all is going and what it's all about. Absolutely. Well, we leave this week to go to International Cup um, held by the United States Twirling Association. And this competition is going to be in Limoges, France, and we are competing next Tuesday um, in a group event. And we have 11 twirlers going across three different states, and the five twirlers are actually from Jessup, Georgia. And who are they? Um, we have Graham Stanley. We have Caroline Armstrong. You have Addison Lambert. We have, uh, girls, help me out here. Who else is it? Ansley Harder. Who now? Ansley Harder. Ansley, Ansley Harder. Harder, also. And then Allie Grooms, formerly of Jessup, now in South Carolina. 
Okay, well, we got several. What all will they be competing with, or what? What all? What are the? What are they competing for? Great question. So we are doing a group event, and we are competing against uh, about thirty other countries for this title. So it's a three and a half minute routine um, that showcases different gymnastics and twirling abilities. Our theme is like a Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Girl Power theme. Um, they have a lot of fun performing it. Um, and then we also have Addison Lambert, Ali Grooms, and then a twirler from Alabama, Sally Ott, are also competing in individual events, one baton, two baton, and three baton events. And how did you become their instructor? What's your connection <laughs> with the girl from Jessup? Well, that's a fun story. Um, so I have had the fortune of watching these girls grow up as we've traveled to competitions because I have my own team here in Atlanta. Um, but we decided that this would be a really fun kind of collaborative event to put together, and Joy Kennerly and Lonise Williams um, and I kind of were talking about it um, because these girls are friends anyway, and a lot of them will be twirling together when they go to college in a few short years, um, and we just saw an opportunity and decided to take it. So we're very, very blessed that the girls and their parents made the time financial commitment to make this work for everyone, and I think it's been a really positive experience so far. And when will the trip be? What are the dates? So most of us leave out this week. Uh, we are all there in Paris by Friday, and their competition day is next Tuesday. So we're there by about Friday, August 2nd. We compete around August 5th and 6th. Okay, well, we got some of the twirlers in here. We're going to talk to them, but we appreciate you calling in, and uh, have a safe trip to France. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you so much. Like I said, we've got several of the twirlers in here, so we'll let you introduce yourself and tell us what you're looking forward to and tell us who your parents are. And You want to start, Miss Armstrong? Um, I'm Caroline Armstrong. My parents are Hugh and Carla Armstrong, and I'm looking forward to seeing the different countries, um, their performance. Hi, I'm Graham Stanley. Uh, my parents are Sean and Bree Stanley. I'm looking forward to making new friends from all over the world. Hi, my name is Ansley Harder. My pa- Do it again. I didn't have your mic up. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, my name is Ansley Harder. My parents are Lane Adams and Chris Harder. And the most thing I'm looking forward to is being with my friends in France and experiencing a whole different country and a new atmosphere. Where are y'all staying over there in, in Paris? Do y'all know? Well, we're staying in Limoges. Um, I don't remember the name of the hotel. Okay. All right. But it's in Paris itself, right? Or just outside? It's actually further. Three hour train it's a three-hour train ride south from Paris, France. Okay. So it's south. Yes. Okay. So will you girls be competing individually or as a team? Um, no, sir. We're competing as a team. As a team. And you'll be competing against teams from all across the world or how's it work um yes sir we'll be competing with 30 other countries and what colleen said is our um routine and in international cup so so what kind of routine will it be will it be one routine different routines um what will y'all be judged on that kind of stuff we have one routine that is a with three songs in it and they judge us more on a entertainment type view more than baton twirling because this is an artistic group so we're looked more for entertainment and how together are we okay so um kind of in sync entertainment more than it is technical is that what you're saying yes do you compete this just that one routine just one time or how does it work we compete at one time, and then if we get in the top so many, we get to recompete in the semifinals and to hopefully get in the top ten. Okay. Who are the, where do the judges come from? Do you have any idea? Have y'all talked to anybody about who will be the judging? They're pretty much all over around the world. We met a couple um, last week. We competed in Ohio, and they announced some of the judges that were going to be at the competition in France and we learned that they're pretty much everywhere. Okay. And um, uh, you're getting ready to, to fly out. Where are you going to fly out of? Do you know? Oh, okay. Over here. Um, we're flying out of Orlando, and then we're going to Atlanta and flying straight to Paris. Okay. 
and then take the bus drive down or yes, train sir. ride train train all right they got a great train system over in europe so i think y'all enjoy <laughs> that and um so you'll be there for how many days is it based on how far you go in the competition or do you know exactly the day you're coming back um we're coming home saturday august 10th so you leave here from jessup the second or third tomorrow morning. tomorrow tomorrow morning and then we won't be back until then yes sir well, that sounds good. Do y'all have any excursions planned outside, already uh, set up, any um, sightseeing that you're going to do that's already planned? Yes, sir. Well, and but what are they? We're definitely planning on going to visit the Eiffel Tower one day because we're leaving tomorrow to go to Paris to kind of sightsee for a few days before we leave on Friday to go to Limoges. So we're going to go to the Eiffel Tower. The Louvre? The Louvre, we're going to go try to see the Notre Dame. Mm-hmm. What's the building to back up? <laughs> <laughs> What's left of it, yes, sir. What's left of it, right. Yeah. And um, so how did y'all decide to go on this trip? Well, Miss Joy Kennerly, she kind of called us in and talked to us about it and talked about how much of a commitment it would be, being that we're all from three different states and that it's going to take up a lot of time, even us missing the first two days of school. So after she talked about the commitment and what it's going to take to be on the team, we had to kind of, you know, talk to our friends, talk to our family, and decide if this was what everybody wanted to do. And after talking to everyone, we decided that it was what we wanted to do. And I'm pretty sure I can speak for everyone and say that it was a good choice because this is a big opportunity for us. That, it is a great opportunity for you all to go over there and, and enjoy France. Have any of you all ever been over to Europe before? No, sorry. Now, I'm sure that y'all enjoy it. Now, what grade would y'all be going into in August? I'm going into the 11th grade. 11th grade. 10th grade. 10th grade. 10th grade. 10th grade. So y'all still got a couple more years left, and so and three years left, and, and a couple. So this is quite an experience for y'all. I'm sure y'all will have a fantastic time over there, and uh, just wishing the best. Go ahead, Bob. I just want to say, I was just like you, I was curious, besides the competition, what are you looking forward to the most? Um, what we're probably looking forward to the most is seeing that all the effort we've put in and what we get out of it, and we're really hoping to qualify and make the top ten and possibly even get a medal. And so we're just really looking forward to seeing the effort we put in pay off. What studios What studios do you all train and be trained at? We've pretty much trained everywhere. Us three from Jessup were Twirl Dolls. And now they can. That's what I mean. Is, is which studio do y'all train at here in town? We twirl with the twirl dolls. With twirl dolls. Yes, sir. Okay, and um, and y'all do. Um, you said that y'all have traveled before at the different places around and, and competed. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, and all three of y'all are high school majorettes as well. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Right. You're not worried about missing the first couple of days of school. Um. <laughs> It's just <laughs> getting <laughs> things organized anyway. <laughs> uh, I, we wish you all the best over there. I'm sure that you're going to have a fantastic time over there. And, and, um, and did you, I never, just never realized that uh, baton twirling was such an international uh, sport. Yes, sir. And I guess y'all have known that all along. I had no idea. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I just know that Wayne County is, you know, produces some of the best twirlers in the state of Georgia. Um, and so there's um, what are these other twirlers, you know, usually twirlers here in uh, the United States are uh, twirling for, you know, football games and things of that sort. What do they do over there to twirl? Because I've never seen any twirlers at a soccer match. I can tell you that. What, did, what, what events do they twirl for all over there? Anybody know As, other than just competition? I honestly think – I don't really think they twirl for a different – another sport like we do with football games. I think they just are in the gym a majority of their time to get ready for competition season. Okay. Now, how long have you all been practicing the routine that you'll be doing in France? Since last summer. Since last summer. And y'all three have been working mm-hmm. on that same routine? Yes, sir. Okay. And they are long practices. Uh, when you do these uh, uh, training like this, do you have a big mirror in front of you so you can see how exactly you look, or do you depend upon um, – your instructor to say this is what you're doing right and wrong we depend upon our instructor okay no looking at the mirror no sir 
it'll probably distract you and the baton will come down and hit you on the head, right? <laughs> yeah, so the mirror doesn't help us. It doesn't no, help. <laughs> now, are these just regular batons, or are you going to have any uh, thrills in, with them? They're just regular batons. Regular batons. Yes. No fire, no... Fire no. <laughs> No tassels coming out the end of it, you know. No, none of that. So, huh? No glowing lights. You know, no, just regular right. batons. Huh? Right. How long is the routine? Um, three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes. Okay. Well, we'd love to talk longer, but we got more guests out there in the, um, the green room. Bob, we're going to wrap this up with the girls. I just appreciate y'all coming in. Y'all have a safe trip and have fun. Thank you. Okay, hold on one second here. Let's see if this is uh, this text is uh, for this or for something else. Hold on. People can always text in questions and comments to our business line, a regular line, 912-427-37. Nope, this is something else. All right, y'all take care. Thank you. 105.5 FM and Jess at Big Dog Country Radio. And uh, we've got more of the world-famous Butch and Bob show coming up in just a moment. We appreciate you tuning in to 105.5 FM and Jess at Big Dog Country, WIFO. South Georgia weather. Here's your WIFO forecast. Hi, good morning. Sunshine for today. Southwest winds becoming easterly later this afternoon. Highs, low 90s. Mostly clear around 70 for tonight. Mostly sunny, mid-90s tomorrow. Wednesday, sunshine. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, mid-90s. Thursday, partly sunny. 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mid-90s. Friday, mostly cloudy. Chance of showers and thunderstorms. Georgia meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. Summer has arrived and so have all the great summer deals. Now's the perfect time to shop in downtown Jessup. It's the Downtown Development Authority Summer Spectacular promotion throughout the entire month of July. Each time you spend over the minimum amount in a participating merchant, you'll be entered to win one of four great prizes. A downtown gift basket valued at over $500, a $250 gift certificate, a $100 gift certificate, or a $50 gift certificate. Winners will be announced on August 6th. What are you waiting for? Shop downtown Jessup today for your chance to win. 105.5 105.5 FM and Jess of Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO, World Famous Butch and Bob Show, for this Monday morning, the 29th day of July. And Bob, we've got another guest in here this morning, Greg Williford, you said? Greg Williford, and you were the Satella River Keepers, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. All right, and y'all called up and request time to be on the World Famous Butch and Bob Show, so... Tell us all what's going on, Greg. Well, I just wanted to kind of get the word out about the Satilla River Keepers. Uh, we do uh, a lot of work on the river, and uh, we're a membership organization. So uh, I thought I'd just take this time to uh, tell the people what we do and kind of how, how we do it and why we do it. Okay. Now, uh, there's you know, big little Satilla, there's little Satilla. Where do you consider the Satilla? Where was the head of it, and where does it dump? Well, it actually starts up around Fitzgerald, Georgia, mm-hmm. and goes about 230 miles winding its way down and then empties right south of uh, Brunswick. And it actually goes through about 15 different uh, counties in the state of Georgia. Okay. So what all does the Satilla River Keepers do for the river and rec- recreation and conservation? Well, actually, our, um, our motto is to uh, protect, restore, and educate on the Satilla River. And, and that's what we do. We do that in uh, several different ways. Um, uh, we actually uh, monitor uh, the river water for bacteria. Uh, we actually um, uh, do cleanups on the river. And we work with uh, uh, the DNR, the EPA, um, a lot of different the Army Corps of Engineers in, in monitoring the river and kind of looking out for it. That's, that's, that's what we do. Greg, how'd you get involved with the Satilla River? Greg. Huh? Greg. Yeah, Greg. Yes. Yeah. Greg, how did, I said that. Uh, Greg, how did you get involved with the Satilla River Keeper? Uh, well, actually, we moved here about five years ago from California, and um, I was retired. I had some time, and I knew some people that uh, were involved. And so, I actually, I became a board member. I'm the, the newest board member on, on the, on the uh, organization there. And uh, we're a 501C3 nonprofit organization uh, again a membership organization and um, I thought it was a good um, a good organization the people are dedicated they're in, they're involved and uh, uh, we, we do a good job and so that's why I volunteered what brought you from California to South Georgia uh, well actually uh, California at the time we left was out of water they had no <laughs> 
<laughs> they had no water. We just follow the water. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, taxes were real high. And so we had um, traveled in business and pleasure to the Savannah area and Charleston area and just decided to retire and come out here. And and where, where do you, where you live, you, you and your family? Uh, we live right up 341, right past uh, uh, Tank Road on oh, okay. the left. Okay, so you're in Wayne County. Yeah, we're okay. in Wayne County, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. On, on the Satilla River Keepers, do y'all have uh, members from those 15 counties or uh, that the Satilla goes through? We have, um, oh yeah, we have members from all the different counties. In okay. fact, even uh, the board members, I think there's 10, 10 of us on the board. Um, and out of that 10, I think uh, about eight or nine different counties are represented. Okay. Uh, Jim Cottingham is the chair of the board, and Laura Early is the executive uh, director. And she's out of town for this week, or else actually she would, uh, uh, she would be here. Okay. And what other information would you like to um, pass on to our listeners about the Satilla River Keepers, the river, and anything else on this on your mind this morning? Because you got pages of notes there. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I just thought I would make sure the people knew that uh, the river was being looked at, that there's an effort from a lot of people to keep it as it was. In fact, the, uh, the organization was established in 2004 by people that, that loved the river and cared about it. They lived on it. They fished on it. Uh, they enjoyed the beauty of it. It was pristine. And they had some concerns about uh, uh, the river being polluted, uh, and that's why they formed the organization. So uh, uh, that uh, those concerns are still valid now. The fact of the matter is that there's uh, threats from um, uh, agricultural runoff, industrial pollution, and, in fact, regulatory concerns because a lot of the uh, protective – uh, protective uh, regulations on the river have been removed. And we work with the legislators to make sure that uh, when those bills come up that affect the clean water. Uh, so you're a lobbyist group also. Well. In a sense. In a sense. We were, I know you might not be a registered lobby we're, group, we're not but, registered. but you still talk to the uh, state representatives and state senators. Yes, we certainly are aware of the bills going through that could affect the Satilla River, uh, as well as the other waters in Georgia. And uh, we don't, you know, exist in a vacuum. We also work with um, uh, 100 Miles, the uh, uh, Georgia Water Coalition, and several, several like um, organizations that have the same concerns that we do. Okay. Well, you got the Savannah River Keepers. You got the, the Omaha. You've got uh, Satilla. Uh, you've got several organizations in this area that are concerned about the uh, the quality and the and the recreation and the conservation of the rivers. Uh, what do you see as the greatest benefit that y'all do uh, to be able to preserve uh, what you your organization wants the river to be? Well, I mean, the the benefit is to keep the river in its original the characteristics that it, it's always had and for those not to change, that it's pristine, that it's beautiful, that it uh, sustains a wide population of wildlife around it, that it is, it is uh, uh, not polluted. People don't dump trash in it. We have cleanup. Um, uh, every couple of months we have a, a group of volunteers that go out and clean up the river. So does that ever amaze you? It's like riding down the road, you know. People, some people think the side of roads is, you know, where their garbage needs to go. I mean, you get along the river. I don't know why people think that just just throwing something. I mean, you throw plastic or styrofoam over to the side or something like that, or or, or um, aluminum can that it doesn't go away for a long, 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 long time. It's you know. It does not, and after a while, it builds up, and so we're very much aware of that, and quite honestly, it ruins the aesthetics of it. Uh, you're out there on the river, you're having a nice time, and here's a styrofoam cup and a plastic bag stuck over on, on the uh, the bank. So uh, we're very much aware that uh, those type of things affect uh, how well people enjoy the river, and uh, so uh, that's one of the several things that we do is to uh, – put together volunteers, and they do clean up sections of the river at a time. You just get on uh, boats and just go up and down a certain section. Yeah, and we of walk. The other. We actually walk oh, the banks. Oh, you walk? Oh, yeah, walk the banks. Uh, well, 
Because, Some places you can't get to. <laughs> well, no, no, you're exactly right. Um, and, and actually, one of the other things that we've done is I say we. I'm the newest member, so it's really the other people that did it. But uh, we set up um, a 150-mile what they call water trail along the uh, the Satilla River. And where does uh, it start? Um, well, I wish I could tell you exactly where it starts. Where does it I'm end? not quite sure. Well, it ends in uh, the ocean. The ocean. So uh-huh. you just go from the ocean 150 miles up, and there's a walkway. It's not a walkway, but it's What I mean a, is a trail path type thing that yeah, people can we, actually walk. From that point down, what we've done is set up uh, 12 river access points. So if you take a kayak trip, mm-hmm. you can come down and you can you can go in at those locations. Oh, so it's not actually a, like a path or anything. You just yeah. go, can go in and out in the sections yeah, of the river. Yeah, it'd be pretty hard to it'd walk. Be pr- right? I was just going to say, y'all have to put a lot of work on something would, like uh, that. Yeah, you know, no, swampy it's, areas uh, down there. But it, it's a known water trail. And so, again, we've designated places where you can actually get out. And um, uh, get out of your kayak and, and you could camp, I suppose, if you wanted to. And, uh, you know, if people were interested, they could go to um, uh, the website, www.riverkeeper or Satilla Riverkeeper. Satilla Riverkeeper. River. Keeper. Keeper.org. Keeper. Keeper. Okay. Satilla Riverkeeper.org. Dot dot org. And okay. um, uh, memberships are twenty five dollars for a year. Uh, regular membership. There are other levels that, if anybody was interested, they could certainly, uh, uh, you know, donate at that level. Uh, and of course, because we are a nonprofit, all the donations are tax deductible. And um, uh, students' memberships ten dollars. And one of the benefits of becoming a member is that in the course of the year, you get four. Uh, guided kayak trips down the river. So, right. I mean, that's that's a pretty good incentive. So, that's pretty good. Uh, we encourage people to join the organization. Um, there are a lot of activities um, uh, that we we do fishing tournaments. We do the Strickland fishing tournament up in uh, uh, Blackshear. Um, and uh, we actually attend uh, a lot of um, uh, these other organizations' meetings where they meet with legislators and, and uh uh, other organizations that are involved in the same okay. same type of function. Well, Greg, we enjoyed having you on the show. We still got one more guest to go, and we've only got six more minutes on our show. But any time that you want to come on, especially if you've got an event coming up or something like that that you'd like to know people to know about. But once again, give people that website if they want to know more about your organization. Okay. One one last thing, real quick, sure. and that is we're currently working with the uh, EPA right now to try to get the uh, Satilla River official designation raised from a fishing category up to a recreational category. Sounds pretty minor, but it's another step up the ladder. It increases the uh, requirements, and uh, we think it's going to be beneficial to the river. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you very much. All right. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. 105.5 105.5 FM and Jess, the Big Dog Country Radio, WYFO, uh, 825. Uh, Jim, if you'd start making your way this, uh, come this way, we got one more guest here on the world-famous Butch and Bob Show. You're listening to WIFO, 105.5 FM in Jessup. Come on down, Jim. There he is. I don't even have to take a break. Come on and have a seat. All right. Come on in. Jim Poindexter here. On the world famous Butch and Bob show. Good morning, Jim. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good, good. Got your big blue uh, t shirt on this morning with VFW on there. What's going on at the um, the local post here in town? Well, we uh, we've got uh, several events coming up. First one is uh, on this Wednesday between two and seven. Uh, we're having a blood drive, and so I'd like to invite everybody to come out. Donate a little blood and for a good cause. And um, so the Red Cross will be here. They will be setting up. And, um, and so it'll be, a, it'll be a, a good event, a great day uh, for all of us out there. And um, we hope we can get uh, a lot of blood donated. So, um, so come out. This, this th- Wednesday? This coming Wednesday, yes. What time again? Between 2 in the afternoon and 7 p.m. in the evening. All right, Blood Drive at the uh, Jessup VFW a post there, right behind the Farmer's Market, this Wednesday starting from 2 to 5. Yes, that's okay. correct. All right. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. And then we've got uh, we've got our, our annual programs that are coming up, and the, the one I really want to uh, – uh, to 
to talk about the most because people have already heard about our Voice of Democracy essay contest for for uh, high school students, and the national winner can win up to thirty thousand dollars scholarship. Uh, but there, uh, these programs are, are uh, the, the Voice of Democracy is for high school. Patriot Pen Essay Contest is for the middle schools, and um, and those um, uh, are you know those are ongoing programs. We have them every year. They're judged at the local level, the district level, the state level, and the national level. Okay, hold on so, a second. I know Bob's not feeling well, so if you want to mosey on, you can. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, he's yeah, I want to get him out of here. <laughs> We're going to lie all down his area over there in just a moment. <laughs> need to have mask out here. Uh, All right, go ahead, Jim. Uh, we'll Jim from the Jessup VFW. Go yeah. ahead. But, uh, but we have, uh, every year we do a um, Citizen Education Teacher Award. And there's three different categories of awards. One is for the uh, K through 6 and uh, one is for uh, the middle school, and then one is for the high school. And we would love to have uh, one uh, teacher from each of those uh, schools um, here in Wayne County to be nominated for this. Again, they're, uh, they're judged at the local level, the state level, the national level, and there's monetary awards, plaque certificates, uh, not just for the teacher, but for the schools for recognition. And um, it's really a good program. Uh, we have never had one from uh, from the the elementary school level. Mm-hmm. And I would really like for for you know for some of those teachers to be nominated this year. I'm going to be around the uh, first week of school. Uh, talking to the uh, principals and to the uh, the school officials about uh, you know about that program, and so we just have a lot of recognition programs uh, that that uh, that we that we work. We also have a recognition program uh, for the safety award, which uh, and there's three categories there. Have the fire uh, the fire department. We have EMA EMS. And we have the law enforcement categories, one from each one of those. It's a great way to recognize your employees and, uh, and, and also gives them a little uh, uh, incentive awards. And uh, so it's, it's a, some great programs that are coming up. And I'm going to be around the schools here in the next uh, couple of weeks right. uh, to talk with the officials and schools about that. But if you have questions, they can call me. Um, at the um, leave a message at the VFW or call me on my cell phone. Most people can or message me, um, okay. and uh, most people pretty much know how to get in touch with me. But uh, I'd love for love to be able to come out and talk to you about these programs. Okay, you yeah. can always get a hold of uh, Jim Poindexter at the uh, uh, Jessup VFW four two seven three eight three eight. And how else do you do you want them to get a hold of you, Jim? Um, come, well, these, my, these, my uh, personal programs. my personal cell phone number is uh, of course nine one two two nine four five three seven three, or they can send me a messenger uh, through Facebook. Okay. And uh, well, good luck with the uh, essay programs this year. We hope that the uh, many students become uh, part of this and go through competition. There's things they can win, uh, recognition, all kinds of good stuff. Mm-hmm. One one other thing, and I know we're getting uh, close here, but um, we are getting more active here in the, this past year and in hopefully in the years to come um, to be more involved in community service projects. It does not necessarily have to be related to veterans. If it is, that would be great. Uh, we just finished one. Um, here a couple of weeks ago, it was a great turnout. We had we had veterans that came in to support this program from as far away as Savannah, Hazelhurst. It, it was a great project, and um, we've got one in the planning stages right now, doing a little uh, painting uh, to uh, to help with uh, a community center in one of our in one of our areas. There will be more details about that coming out. Okay. And um but uh but yeah, if you know of someone in need and uh, has no family members here or it doesn't have to be an individual if it's a project that you have. Mm-hmm. 
let us know. We'll take a look at it. If, it, if, um, if we can help, we will. Well, Jim, you're welcome on here anytime. From Thank you. Uh, Jim Poindexter with the uh, Just the Post of the VFW. And if you need to come back on in the next week or two to give some more details on this, we glad to have you back on, okay? All right. Thank you. All right. Take care. WIFO FM in Jessup 105.5 on your FM dial. World famous Butch and Bob show brought to you by Murphy Builder Supply located on Northeast Broad Street in downtown Jessup, just down from the big red caboose where the builders buy Murphy Builder Supply and by Nips Car Wash. Brand new state of the art laser guided automatic car wash located on Highway 301 South just past McDonald's on the left hand side. Plus, they have self-service bays. Time now is 8.32. Coming up before long, we're going to give you the opportunity to win four free passes to Wild Adventures Park. Great, great gift right there that you could have. Compliments of Big Dog Country Radio. We'll give that away, uh, that away in the next few minutes. The time now is 8.32. Let's check in with the latest news from Fox News Radio. Who was he and what was his motive? I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News. Questions in Gilroy, California, the morning after a guy shot up a garlic festival. It just started popping off like fireworks. It sounded like firecrackers. People ran for cover as he kept shooting until he reloaded and then shot some more. According to one eyewitness, when someone asked why he was shooting at people, the gunman shouted something about being angry. Fox's Claudia Cowan in Gilroy, where three people were murdered, at least 15 injured until police shot and killed the guy. Law enforcement from multiple agencies are now following up in reports of that second suspect. They're searching with helicopters helicopters and canine units, but that person's role is unclear and there's been no description. Police will only describe the weapon used as some kind of rifle. President Trump wrote more tweets this morning about Baltimore having the worst crime stats in the country, adding to what he started over the weekend when he wrote the city's disgusting and rat-infested, calling Democratic Congressman Elijah Cummings, whose district is in Baltimore, a racist who has failed. There's a lot of response to that. Fox's Rachel Sutherland live. 